Hi all and welcome to my channel, Kaz here. Glad to have you with me. Has your Addy machine started dropping stitches? Because mine has. And I couldn't figure out quite what was wrong with it because depending on the yarn everything seemed to be okay and then it would just miss a stitch, miss a stitch. So I'm going to see now to see if it'll do it now. Um, so you can see what's happening and I'm just... Yeah, you go. Misses a stitch there. Did you see that then? Didn't go under. So, I was looking at the machine and I was thinking, what on earth is going on? See, it's cut that. It's cut that one in half there. So I've just zoomed in so you can see a little closer what's going on. It's cut that, that piece of yarn in half there. And I've managed to back up a little bit. And it's threaded properly. It's going through the yarn feeder. Fine, it's all in its right position. And there you go, misses again, look. Catches, catches, catches. Misses again, misses again. And missing, okay? Now, I was getting really frustrated by this, and I mean really frustrated. And I was trying to find an answer and a cure and anyway, I just wanted to share with you my little hack, which has helped me somewhat, not 100% perfect. And again, you're going to have to do this um, under kind of your own steam kind of... I don't want to guarantee that this is going to work, but it has helped me. And all I've got here is a little piece of folded up cardboard. Okay, that's all I've got is a tiny little piece of folded up cardboard. And what I found was is that over time, if you notice here, the screws are kind of really set either side apart from the yarn feeder. And there's a lot of play there. Can you see that play? You don't get that with the 22. The, the screws are a bit closer together, obviously, because it's a smaller bed machine. So anyway, I was thinking, all I need to do is kind of lift this up closer to the needle. Not too close that the needles get chipped, mind, okay? So, um... Be careful with that. So again, I've got this little piece of folded up ordinary cardboard, ordinary cardboard from um, a packet somewhere or whatever. And if you lift this up a little bit here, you can see the play in the ring. The ring lifts up, okay? So do it to suit yourself. And I'm just going to slide that under there. And it just lifts that yarn feeder up just to bring it closer to the needles. So I'm not sure if I've got it in the 100% right position now, because it's kind of a trial and error thing. So, let's go around and see what we get now. And it seems better, and the needles are clearing the end of there, so be careful if you do decide to have a go, if you're having the same problems I'm getting. Obviously I'll have to frog this later, but this is just to show you that it's pushing the yarn closer to where the needle hooks onto it to pull it down. So that is my little hack, a plain and simple piece of little cardboard which lifts up the ring around there and lifts the yarn closer to the needle so it can get under the hooks. Now over time, I'm not sure whether these are wearing because I have been using a 4 volt um, screwdriver in order to run this on here so it may have worn the machine out a little bit but it it is a strange little conundrum so I hope this helps you and as you can see now it doesn't seem to be missing fingers crossed it doesn't miss and I've got the cardboard in the right place in order to carry on so that's my little hack a tiny little piece of cardboard pushed under where the yarn feeder is there lifting that circular ring up be careful though okay please please be careful not to snap this little ring here um, like I said, this is only my recommendation, and if you do it, it's under your own, at your own risk, as they say, okay? So, I just wanted to share that little hack with you, and I hope it helps you if you are having the same problem as I am. Or was, rather. Let's hope that it's was now, or not am, or is, or current. Yes, let's hope it's um, gone for good. Anyway, thanks for tuning in. It's a little short one today, and I'm going to be with you in a day or two with a lovely, lovely little pattern beanie. And um, I think you're going to like this one. So anyway, thanks for tuning in once again. Glad to have you with me and um, stay safe and I will see you very, very soon. Take care all. Bye for now.
here's a sneak peek of the video that's going to be coming up in the next couple of days. Thank you.